Okay, let's see if I can hear myself. Hi everyone, please tell me if you can hear me all right and we will start. Okay. Uh, you the camera. Hey, hi everyone. Okay. Um, so here is me again. Um, just doing some new um, gear thing and just chatting with you. I have your chat here just so I can see your comments and so on. Uh, and um, yeah, uh, I will be testing today this thing, which uh, I wanted to, I have my, my fingers are wet, uh, which we wanted to try uh, for some time now. This is the <clears throat> Iro Utsushi pen holder uh, from Pilot. And I'll be testing it with all kinds of weird ink uh, not very weird. This is Mont Blanc. This is carbon ink and like ink stand and so on. Uh, so yeah, and if we can do something with it, actually, uh, I would like to try to do some line art with this. Uh, I have a sketch ready. So um, yeah, let's open it and let's see what it is. Let me switch the camera. Camera. So basically in Japan, it's really, 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 really um, popular to have a lot, a lot of inks. All the big companies like Pilot and Sailor and so on are producing a lot of pen ink. You can buy a lot of pen ink colors and also inks that have some like particles, like shiny particles in them and you can buy inks that are waterproof, you can buy inks that have um, acrylic ink in them, you can buy, yeah, you can buy ink that goes like, it's really shiny when it dries and so on. But I'll, because these inks shouldn't be actually used in fountain pens because some of them um, are really hard to manage and you have to know what you're doing and so on. Uh, a lot of people um, have been using we have been using uh, glass pens for, for testing these, uh, but uh, recently some companies um, thought that, yeah, uh, it would be better to actually have things like this. So this is similar to um, a manga pen, so something like this, uh, where you have the nib and the holder uh, separately and you can just use ink by just dipping the nib and then if you want to change the ink or whatever you can just wash it and that's that's it uh, but um, these pens are quite hard to use because they are so sharp like the nib is really sharp so these are great for drawing but not really great for just regular writing if you just want to write a page of your journal or whatever. Uh, so recently, for example, Sailor um, released this one, which is uh, a similar concept. You have this plastic barrel and this pen nib, which you can replace. Um, we got actually this one from Kana's friend who bought it and um, gave it to us to test and uh, yeah, I had a look at this in the previous video that I did live, but uh, I didn't like it so much actually because it's so kind of flimsy and plasticky and um, it it actually, the, the, the nib is not really well placed in this part and it kind of feels cheap. The, nib, the, 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 the writing um, feel was also not, not really nice. Um, so we were kind of happy to hear that Pilot is making this, which is the Iro Utsushi uh, pen by Pilot. This is basically a similar concept. 
you have the pen um, holder, the nib holder, which is this part here, and you have the nib, which is uh, just a nib that's similar to a fountain pen. So, differently to a manga pen, uh, let me focus. Um, you don't have like this really, really sharp needle sharp tip, but you have a rounded tip like you have on a fountain pen. So in theory, it should be really better um, to just write and and actually but like uh, fountain pens for drawing. I draw a lot with fountain pens. So um, yeah. Okay, so the packaging is really simple, just this kind of paper thing, and there was a rubber pipe thing to protect the nib, which is good. So this is the M size, there is also F, so like fine, and there are a few types of the, um, of the body that you can order. Um, there are plastic ones and there are like this, uh, there is this one, which is the uh, light um, wooden one, but there's also a black wooden one. I like this, but um, this is just really old. So that's why it's um, such a nice color, I guess. Okay, first test. Can I, can I pull this out without breaking stuff? Let's see. I'm because on, on, a, on a regular uh, one, you can just pull out the nib and, and put a different one. Okay. I think it's possible, but you would have to put more force on it, like grab it through a cloth or something. But I think it's doable. Okay, I will not force it right now. Okay, so let's let's check it out. Um, I have here some paper, and let's see how it does with some inks. Yay! I don't know if I should it should like wipe it with something or whatever. I'm not Japanese. I'm Polish, actually. But I live in Japan and I speak Japanese too. I have been living here for more than almost 15 years already. Okay. Feels smooth. Uh, let's see. Let's test it with a really standard ink first. So I have here the Mont Blanc Mystery Black, which is a really nice ink. I like it. I use it a lot. Okay. So on the pen, there is a line that um, tells us uh, where we have to stop when we put the nib into the ink, um, so around here-ish. So let's put it like so. Let's see. Okay. This is Mont Blanc Mystery Black. It works actually pretty nice. Let's do more. I have to do a physical zoom. Sorry. Okay, so it's really smooth and the lines are stable. It doesn't do dry start. Uh, it doesn't blot. I guess if I really tried, it would. And there is enough ink to write probably like one, two lines of text. Okay, so let's try. Uh, okay. 
with the Okay, so it still has a bit of ink on it after like five, six lines of text with the Mont Blanc ink, which is really good actually. It's better than I expected. I still can do like some stuff here. I guess I could write about half a page in my small Moleskine journal until it runs out which is really good i uh, i'm actually impressed i was i was expecting to be able to write maybe one two lines of text with such which with, with such a small nib without any like ink um storing capabilities so it doesn't have like ink storage or anything here so um yeah like six seven lines of text it's really, really nice uh to have and I guess we could actually do a sketch with this, with um, like just dipping the pen into uh, ink and doing it like this. Okay, so let's try some other more interesting inks. This is this is the Sheen Machine Two. Uh, this is actually Polish ink, uh, from what I know. Um, and it's nice because it has a nice sheen thank you thank you for reading Tokyo Storyfronts okay let's try this ink This ink, when it dries, it has a really nice sheen. So the dark parts, so the parts where you have a lot of ink, will um, like shine and be reflective in the right light. I don't know if you can see it on on the camera, like like this. This part here is is dry actually, but you can you can kind of see that it's shiny when it dries. Yeah, so it it works with this nib too. Wash it. Okay. So now let's test it with. Uh, Diamine Vermilion It's really small, I don't know if I can fit it Let's see Just Yeah I got a bit of ink on the Okay So this is This Is A million yeah it works well also this is a bit less viscous and more like watery ink I guess so the line is a bit thinner and not so dark but it it still works really fine okay so 
Here I also I have something interesting. Uh, this is Sailor 252. And this ink is re really actually interesting because it, when it dries, some parts of it get, get like bluish green color, which is really nice. Okay, so let's try it with this nib and let's see. This is sign or 252. So it works also really well, no problems. Okay, so I would I would actually use this with more like viscous inks. I think it, you, you call it viscous, so like thicker inks, ones that are a bit uh, slower, more steadier flow. Okay, so. Um, the one thing that I want to confirm here is, um, can I use it with carbon ink? This is the ink that I use a lot for my everyday drawing when I want to make lines that are waterproof. So I use it in my IndieGraph pen and so on. So basically um, what you can do with this, if it works well, is um, you don't have to buy a really expensive fountain pen that is made especially to be used with waterproof ink. Uh, and if you are afraid of using your own like really expensive fountain pen and put waterproof ink inside so instead you can just use this uh, the problem is that you have to kind of dip it in, in ink um, every few lines or every every few lines in your sketch okay so this is platinum carbon ink and it works well it works quite nice actually I I like the cheaper pilot pens uh, I draw a lot using the Kakuno pens which are like the really cheap plastic ones with the smile on the nib and so on and in the recent series uh, live I tested um, where are they? Here. Like these fountain pens also, which are also made by Pilot and I have really, oh wait. And have really similar pen nibs actually to this thing and I was surprised how smooth these worked uh, even though they are not so expensive and have just regular um, uh, steel nibs it's very similar actually this one to this one maybe the same nib actually This one is a bit thicker, so yeah, it works really well. Um, so if you have a lot of weird inks and you just want to use, sorry. So if you have a lot of weird inks and you just want to use a lot of interesting inks with your like journal ink or whatever, uh, then this is really good. And if you want to use carbon ink, for example, so, so ink like this, um, for your waterproof lines in your sketches and so on, um, this is also uh, a good kind of way in if you want to check if you want to sketch with or draw with fountain pens. All the pictures that I do, like all the um, Tokyo Storyfronts, for example, and all the other Storyfront pictures um, are done with a fountain pen with this carbon ink uh, and then painted with watercolors. So I use fountain pens a lot, like every day for my, for my drawing. And um, yeah, I have the IndieGraph 
uh, which is a pen especially made to hold uh, waterproof ink because it has a water reservoir here so it prevents the nib from drying out uh, but yeah something like this is also a very feasible um, solution for drawing with waterproof inks I think one more ink that I would like to try is um, uh, the Soboku ink. I have it in like a weird bottle here. Uh, this is also waterproof dark blue ink. Uh, this is the ink that I used for all my drawings in the Tokyo at Night uh, book. This is also waterproof. So I would be kind of afraid of using it in a regular uh, fountain pen. But um, yeah, let's see. Yeah, so as expected, it works well. A bit thinner lines than the carbon ink. This ink is seems a bit drier, actually. Less flow. Yeah, I'm really pleased with this actually because it doesn't do wet uh, uh, dry starts. It's not too wet. Uh, it doesn't kind of blob uh, with um, glass pens, which are used for similar purposes. Um, you often do this kind of thing when you start drawing and you have a lot of ink in the glass grooves and it just does like blobs of ink and so on. But uh, here the, the flow is stable enough and um, there's enough ink to uh, write like few lines like this on one go in one go. So yeah, this, this works pretty well actually. Okay, let me wash this and um, let's do a sketch. Um, yeah, I use uh, rotoring rapidographs a lot. Uh, I used them a lot. Now I use them less because I prefer actually font pens. Uh, but I still use them for, for some purposes. Okay, so one thing that I um, noticed here is like if you look at the pen holder, it actually has like this flat side here. So if you put it like on your desk, it will not roll. Which is nice. Uh, my manga pen doesn't have this, so if you put it, it will just like roll around. But this one, if you put down, it will not roll away. So this is very nice. Uh, overall, I really like the shape. Um, it's more or less the same thickness as uh, the Tachikawa manga pen holder, which is really good because I like it. Uh, it's not too thick. It's not too thin. It has a bit of a profile here, which is which is great. It's light, but not too light. Like like it doesn't feel flimsy like this plasticky one. And yeah, the pen nib is really firmly uh, inserted inside, so it doesn't wobble at all. <laughs> it looks weird, uh, but yeah, it it works actually okay. I'm used to fountain pens where you have like this black part here, but. Um, yeah okay so uh i actually have like a sketch thing uh ready um i saw this a really uh pretty car recently i have a photo of it on my computer so i will be looking at a photo but i already have um the pencil sketch done so i will be able to just draw what I already have sketched, so we don't have to wait for anything. We just get some things out of the way first. Okay, so I have this, which is the, uh, what is this? Fabriano sketchbook. And I did this picture recently during a live drawing um, for my patrons, patron supporters, patron fans, patron members. Uh, but I, I wanted also to do a side view. So I already sketched it. 
um, it's kind of hard to see, I guess. Ah. So I already uh, made the line drawing, uh, so we can just use the fountain pen, uh, the pen holder to do the lines for this. And this is what we'll do. Okay. Yeah, this blue ink is really, really nice. I uh, really like it. This is the Soboku and there's also other one that's called Seiboku. And both are really great waterproof dark blue inks, uh, which I used uh, like for all the pictures that I did for Tokyo at night. Okay, so I have my ink bottle here. I have my carbon ink and the Hirotsushi pen. And yeah, let's just do the lines for this and let's see how it works. I'll try not to like blot the paper with, with this. Okay, so this is a Fiat 500. I really like this car. We also had a lot of Fiats in Poland. There were like, I think two kinds. So we called them small Fiat and big Fiat. And these were licensed by uh, Polish manufacturer, so they were actually made in, in Poland. I think these were only for like Polish market. So a lot of families, a lot of friends had like the small Fiats or whatever, which are more or less this size, like this car here. And they would travel like 700 kilometers by like with a, like four people inside of this car and like all their um, stuff on like a roof uh, attached um like storage thing storage rack kind of thing and it would be like really slow going also because the engine was so small in these but now you actually see some uh, like um car themed youtube channels uh buying these and like restoring them and, and so on so there's like a mirror here So yeah, I can actually sketch with this and I already did 
quite few lines here and I still don't have to put like it back to, to the ink uh, bottle to, to refill it. So yeah, I guess this is a win. Uh, it, would, it works pretty well. And for any of you that want to try um, waterproof inks but were kind of reluctant to use fountain pens and were kind of reluctant to buy just a cheap fountain pen to, to do only this. Uh, this is nice because you can use it for drawing but you also can use it for like um, playing around with all your favorite uh, color inks and uh, ink collection. It works really well actually. These are kind of popular I think in Japan. Yes, I'm, I'm using a Fabriano Academia Venezia sketchbook, which is uh, right, actually. Um, thank you. <laughs> I always forget how, how you call this one. I don't think they make them anymore, actually, um, sadly. I bought this one from a, a second-hand uh, website in Japan. Because I saw it like sold out and I looked at the second hand website and someone was selling one and I bought it, I think. So I was lucky, but I don't think they make them anymore. Or maybe they don't, um, uh, how do you call it? Um, import them to Japan anymore. I haven't used Windsor and Neuter Indian ink. Um, I got some India ink from the Indigraph uh, company and tried it a bit, but um, I don't know, it, it was a bit too kind of watery for my taste. It, it, the flow was really fast. I don't know if that was just like that ink or all India inks are like that. Um, but I, I like the carbon ink and it's actually really easy to get in Japan. Um, so this is a non-alcoholic beverage by the way. So um, yeah. Uh, I have used it for a lot of um, projects so far and I never had any problems with it. Um, I never actually had any like um, dried up pens or whatever with it either. So I guess it's really gentle for fountain pens also. I still wouldn't like put it in like a really expensive fountain pen and leave it for a long while or whatever. Um, but so far it's been really nice. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, the sketchbook is, is, is quite nice. The paper is good and I like the cover and the feel of it overall. I wish it would uh, 
open more flat a bit but so far I have used it for like sketching with pens and with color pencils and also with watercolors and yeah it works okay so and it looks really good Okay, the line is getting a bit thin, so I'll put it back into the ink well. Okay, so that's the second time. I, I just dipped it a bit, so like second and a half time, maybe. There's something in the back shelf there and some speakers actually. Let's take a look here and the steering wheel like this. So I'll try to do some more quicker lines. For travel, I have I haven't been to an airplane really, really in a long time. So uh, I don't know about airplanes, but. Um, I have a set of fountain pens, um, which is this thing here, and usually I have a, a Pelican Sovereign. This is uh, Pilot Heritage 92. And this is actually Kana's fountain pen. I have uh, borrowed it from her. This is the uh, Fo Falcon, uh, Pilot Falcon. She bought it, but she didn't like it very much because she usually uses fountain pens for writing and not for drawing. And the Falcon is very peculiar. So I'm kind of test driving it right now. And I also have for like really daily writing, I have a, a Parker 61, which is this kind of pen. And it, it, like most of them have black, just black ink inside. Oyasumi. Oyasumi. Good night. Good night. Kana is going to bed. But I'm waiting for a new kind of pouch that I will probably use. For now I have this.
so for just daily writing when i just go out and want to do some journaling maybe i just take the parker with only one pen uh, and if i know that i want to do some more like hunt and pen like writing and drawing i take all the the three that i showed um, the pelican is really really like a workhorse front and pen it's nice and smooth and the line is very stable i have the mont blanc uh, mystery black in it and it works really really nice Probably it's my favorite fountain pen right now. Yeah, so with the with the, with the falcon it's it's complicated it, like the the nib is really soft and it's easy to kind of break it and push it too hard And not everyone likes like the thing that when you press harder the line gets thicker and so on so you really have to be careful and know what you're doing so that's the third time i dipped the pen Okay. fourth time and like let's do the wheel I just have it behind the camera sorry <laughs> okay yeah I would like to have a bit more loose but nicer lines like Mobius or like Miyazaki so I'm trying to train myself right now in, in, in doing this um, which is really hard because I haven't um, used line only for like drawing mostly for just like use with watercolors or with other color media apart like of the picture and not um, how it's actually finished so for me always like doing lines was just um, like an under drawing or a part of a color picture and never um, I haven't uh, did so much um, just ink drawing and so on so 
I have been trying to get the hang of um, making better looking lines recently. But yeah, that's. Okay, so more or less like this. Uh, let me zoom out a bit. And here, let's see if I haven't for forgotten anything. Okay, so um, the pen works pretty nice. Uh, and when we are finished with it, I just clean it with water in my water tank that I use for watercolors and then like wipe it with um, tissue paper. And there it is, ready to go for another adventure with a different ink, which is, which is very uh, useful. So let's let this dry for a bit and I'll erase the sketch and you can see the lines. So the last thing I want to do with this with this pen is test it with <laughs> with the uh, ink stand ink which is a bit um, unusual because this is actually ink that has acrylic base uh, so this is also waterproof uh, it's a bit different than other inks because it's based with on acrylic and it has um, pigment inside so it's like a watered down acrylics kind of thing uh, we actually asked the people who make these inks like what is inside of them actually and they told us um, kind of exclusively that this is uh, acrylic. Uh, so when it dries, it's waterproof. Um, when I work in digital, most of the times I use Procreate and then uh, I use Photoshop only like for editing and, and uh, correcting things. So when I scan, for example, my uh, storefronts, uh, illustrations and I want to edit things I use Photoshop but if I want to just sit and paint something I use Procreate on my iPad and recently I have been also sketching a bit on the super note um, thing that I got uh, so I, I actually made a stream about this recently so if you are interested but that's more like a gadget not uh, uh, my main working tool okay oh this is nice um, this ink is very difficult, um, meaning that because these are based on acrylics and are kind of watery, uh, not every paper likes to work with it properly. This one doesn't really. You can see that it kind of feathers and um, becomes kind of darker. Yeah, but the pen itself works perfectly fine with it. And the great part uh, about this, the great thing about this, these inks is that they are waterproof. So I can just put water on it and nothing happens. So, um, and you can mix them and you can paint with them, uh, like with watercolors. So. I like these inks a lot, but um, you really have to choose paper that that will work well with these. So yeah, um, the pen works with these also. And what I what I wanted to try it is mostly because I um, have this ink, which is the same brand, but it's gray. Uh, so uh, you can do lines with this uh, and then paint with watercolors over it and um, the lines will not be so kind of strong and overwhelming like with uh, just black ink so 
I use it sometimes to this actually works better on this paper a bit so you can draw something and then paint over it with watercolors I haven't drank ink, I would be probably very blue or whatever after that. I haven't drank watercolor water either, which happens sometimes to some people I, uh, I heard, but um, this is because my ink tank is like just this big thing, uh, which doesn't look like a cup of uh, coffee, which helps. Yeah, I I suggest investing in 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 tank like this, which prevents drinking. Okay, so uh, back to this one. So we can now erase this. I don't know where my it's here. Okay. So I guess it looks really nice. Uh, the line is a bit kind of thicker and thinner depending on how much ink was on the tip. So like here it's a bit thicker and compared to like here for example or here um, it's a bit thinner so maybe if you um, want to draw with this pen it would be best to periodically uh, put it into ink even if you still have some ink on it so um, your ink supply is more or less the same uh, and i have some lines like this here which probably was just because the ink was low uh, but I don't have any like dry starts or like the pen didn't make a line when I wanted it to so that's very good It's very smooth at least on 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 smooth paper. It's very smooth It feels just like a fountain pen and not like these thin fountain pens like Japanese F1s or whatever but more compared to um, maybe M uh, Thickness of other fountain pens like pilot like uh, M of Kakuno, for example. So yeah, it feels it feels good enough that I would use it on a bigger picture uh, if if uh, I wanted to use waterproof ink. So yeah, I think it's a very nice product, and I like how it's made. Uh, it it looks really classy, and I like the name um, on it, and uh, the nib is. Yeah, it's a steel nib, so it won't be like a super high performer, whatever. Um, the on, the one th only one thing I don't know and I would have to check is that you, if you can only get the nib. So can you re get a replacement nib? Um, that would be awesome. Um, it looks like I can pull this out. I don't want to try uh, without checking with the maker first. I have to check on the website. Uh, but yeah, uh, it looks very nice. And this is M. There is also an F. Uh, but I think this is more or less the right thickness for sketching in this kind of size. Um, if I compare it to... Like... Stuff that I'm doing right now, which is the new storefronts things. Um, yeah, the, the thickness of the line is more or less the same. Maybe a bit thicker. So uh, I guess you could um, paint something like this 
and then color it with uh, watercolors without any problems. Um, okay, so the last thing that I would like to try is um, let's take just for the hell of it, let's take a bit more rough paper, like watercolor paper, and let's see how well it works on something different. Okay. This is really white. This is um, Canson Moulin de Roy. It's kind of rough. Okay, and let's try it. Carbon ink. Just in like, at the edge, so I don't waste the whole page. Okay. This is Canson paper. Three hundred grams, and yeah. As expected on watercolor, like thick textured watercolor paper, it, the line is a bit more textured also. And a bit th thinner. If I do fast lines, we will get like these nice textured lines, but I can get slower and the line returns to its original thickness. Um, reverse, okay. Reverse is very thin. It's a bit scratchy too. On regular paper, let's see. Yeah, it's a bit scratchy. So yeah, compared to regular fountain pen paper, on watercolor paper, you will get thinner, more texture line, textured lines. So yeah, on paper like this, uh, I guess um, you could draw something like uh, the Tokyo Story fronts that I, do, that I did uh, with this too. I do. I wouldn't recommend using this in reverse. Um, it it feels kind of scratchy, and um, the line is is very very thin. Okay, so let me uh, just get back to. This paper for a second and let's use the Mont Blanc Mystery Black. And for the last test, okay, you roll, you roll with push M. Uh, let's compare it to some other pens, maybe. Uh, so, this is the uh, Pelican Souverain. This is F. It's the same ink, actually. You can see that it's quite thicker. European pens are usually thicker than Japanese, even if they are like F. This is uh, custom 
Pilot Custom 742 and this is the uh, Falcon Nib FA. And this one is the flex nib, so you can do stuff like this, even though you shouldn't. Uh, you don't. It's not really good for the nib if you like press it too hard. So and when this one, the, the reverse works really nice, and it's kind of smooth actually. Okay, so that's it, I guess. Um, this is the Euro Utsushi M Pelican F uh, Pilot Falcon FA. So you can see that actually it um, works pretty well um, on regular paper and it actually it worked well on um, watercolor paper. And we did a quick sketch with it um, lines. I'll color this later, probably during a Patreon um, this month's Patreon stream. So yeah, it works pretty well. I'm happy with it. I'm happy that um, a company uh, in Japan um, made these uh, that are proper like fountain pen nibs uh, in a holder. So I can finally use all kinds of weird inks and play with them and write with them uh, and make some sketches also with waterproof inks and with acrylic inks and all kinds of things uh, because it seems that it works well with um, basically anything I, I tried today so uh, yeah that's great uh, okay thank you very much for joining me today uh, I hope you like this kind of weird review chat thing um, and yeah, I will see you in the next video. I have some things coming up because uh, my next book is really close to being published in Japan. We sent it to the printers already, so uh, I will have a video about that. And I hope I have also some um, digital painting videos that I want to um, uh, I want to publish, um, but I have to wait for the project to be kind of made public. Um, yeah, so I have some things that I have to just edit um, and I want to make uh, some uh, main channel YouTube videos again when I have a bit more time. So, okay, uh, for now, thank you for joining me on this um, test and I will see you in the next 